Oh, thank God. Hello, Finally. my princess. <laughs> now, now I can listen to you. Okay. Now, now can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay? Yes, yes. Everything wow. is right. God, I God damn. Internet issues. We have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Francis. And okay. then, how are you? Is everything okay? Is yeah, you? everything's okay. Working a lot, but everything is fine. Uh, well, first, I'd like to yeah. thank you to be here because uh, I remember my last, I, I was live and you said, oh, let's go live one day. I said, yes, yes, but I, I didn't have any time. Yeah. Now, yeah, now it's okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, I, I need, I need to uh, really to thank you by accepting my invite to join here with me and yeah talking a little and yeah I need to I have to thank you I know you have a tight schedule but we find out a way to, to do it <laughs> feel free here guys feel free uh, to to make some questions okay along the, the live we're going to have uh, something you probably want to know about the subject we are going to bring here today okay feel free to ask something this live is going to be, uh, as usual, completely in English, but if you are not understanding at some point something, you may ask down here, down the comments, I cannot understand something, play me, can you say that again? Okay, guys, feel free here, okay? Yeah. Teacher Tati. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Teacher Tati. First of all, uh, I'd like you to present yourself. Uh, actually, a short introduction about uh, uh, what's your yes. name. People uh, to get to know. Probably, they don't know you. Yeah, and uh, where do you live? I'd like to know it. <laughs> yeah. Feel comfortable, okay. teacher. <laughs> yes, no problem. I talk a lot, as you saw, but I'm going to control myself. <laughs> Look at this. So, uh, it's very hard. I went on a uh, dental surgery last uh, two weeks ago, last week. Uh, it was terrible. I was not able to communicate, but okay. So, hello, yeah. everybody. I'm, uh, well, my name is Tatiani Santos. I'm from uh, Brazil. I'm from Bahia. Actually, I'm talking from Salvador. And uh, yeah. it's not Salvador, the capital. I live nearby. It's a city really uh, nearby. So uh, it's called Laura de Freitas. And yes, I've been teaching English for um, over than 20 years. Oh, my God. Over than 20 years teaching English. And I love teaching. And that's what I do. Now I'm coordinating the immersion program since 10 years ago. So um, I started coordinating an immersion program. It's a very good way to learn. Uh, through real communication, real situation, I think uh, it helps a lot, right? I think it's really, really good. And I, we know it's not possible to, I don't know, for the students to go abroad, uh, live abroad, or travel, because it's a lot expensive. So that's why I decided to, here in Bahia, to have this kind of program. So they can be in touch with native teachers and not just me, right? Because I'm Brazilian, so... I think it's really, really important. You need to be like immersed in culture, in the language. It's really, really necessary. I yeah, think. you ended up learning more than is it more than just English? Yeah, I think you ended up yes. learning. Yeah. 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 Because you think okay. like people think about grammar, right? People think a lot about grammar, and structure, but they, they don't think yeah, about yeah. interaction. Interaction is yeah. Really We're going to. Talk a little about it, uh, either teacher. Uh, yeah, we will yes. talk a little uh, about it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, guys, be welcome. Okay, who already is arriving uh, here, be welcome. Okay, uh, today um, we're going to talk about how to improve your communication in English. If you already know, but let me present. Uh, let me make a short, a short presentation uh, as well. Yeah, uh, yes. for. Who don't know me yet uh, for who is coming from other side yeah my name is francis okay teacher francis as they call me yeah uh, i live here in downtown sao paulo okay and i've been teaching english uh, at, at the last 10 years almost 10 years but it wasn't a sequence years because uh for you to have an idea my first job was an english teacher and uh yeah i was uh, engaged in uh, other uh, services and other occupations yeah and uh, but i never left 
to 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 help other people about the English, yeah, and because I lost so much, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Without any further ado, let's jump into our today's main topic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, about yeah. How improve, yeah, how to improve your communication in English? Uh, uh, teacher Tati. Uh, Many people they say uh, I I I've been looking my road in English. Many people say that uh, there is some kind of secret, some kind of strategy hidden uh, to have a communication in English. Uh, do you think? Uh, do you believe that? Do you uh, do you think is that uh, a secret all over hide and and uh, good communication, or yeah, not I necessary? Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, by the way, here on Instagram, that's what we can see a lot. Teachers saying, "Oh, now you're gonna find a secret. I'm gonna tell you the secret." And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's <laughs> no, no. There is no. For example, uh, I think about my story, as I told you. I'm not gonna tell here because it's long. But uh, I've worked yeah, yeah, with, yeah, here yeah. in Brazil with Brazilian yeah. teachers. But I improved, yeah. of course, uh, through my contact with uh, native teachers when I worked in a, an American school here. In Bahia, so I uh, not with Americans, but teachers from all over the world. So I was uh, in touch with them, communicating, talking, and it was really important. I think, as you said, it's not just the language. Language, of course, the structure is important. But for me, I don't know. Maybe uh, for me, I tell my students English sometimes is like math. There, there are uh, some. Uh, there is something ready, and if, if you follow that, it's gonna be okay. It's not a problem when you have like the simple verb tenses, continuous, they work exactly the same. You need to follow, right, something like this. But there's no secret because if you study, if you have a real, I don't know, a reason to learn, I want to learn English because I want to be, I want to travel, because I want to uh, live abroad, because I want to get a new job. Yeah. I want to get, yes, so you have motivation, real motivation to study. But if you don't have motive, yeah. oh, I study English because everybody's studying, or someone told me it's really important, or I should uh, study, but I'm not gonna uh, have some specific time to study, to sit down, to, to I don't know, to make things clear in my mind, or to interact with people, watch videos, listen to music. Mm -hmm. So probably it won't work because I, I think I'm gonna learn just in an hour or two hour classes a week. So the teacher cannot do that. We can uh, give, we can yeah. help, we can motivate, we can uh, talk in English, we can give some activities, but we cannot, uh, for example, uh, make the student. I think that we give like 30%, 70% is the student. So that's why we can see students uh, going, uh, I don't know, changing their English level they are um, learning a lot of uh, idioms or slangs, whatever. They're learning because they're, they're motivated. So if you have a topic yeah. you like, I don't know no, if you have no. interest in other topics. Uh, probably you do. Everybody has a topic. Oh, I like this. I like music or I like yeah. movies. By the way, I like decoration. I don't know why. I'm not an architect. I'm not an engineer. But I like, so I watch these programs in English, no subtitles. Of course, yeah. my students, probably your students think, oh, uh, can you understand this? Or did you really understand everything they're saying? Of course not. I'm Brazilian. There is a word, there is a slang, something like local. I cannot yes. understand. Yeah, yeah. And you, you, don't see, you don't see that coming. Yeah, yeah but the whole point, yeah. Yeah, uh, teacher Tati, you you told something very important. Yeah, to figure out a way to to understand and being understood. I think uh, there is no secret, as you said. Yeah, uh, many people say that uh, they need to have uh, something hidden. They don't. Uh, they uh, there are some secrets hidden. I mean. Yeah, but I think so that when you uh, when you understand uh, at the point that the language when you can understand and being understood, I think yes. the great point, you know, and uh, for uh, for uh, be, for it becomes possible, for it becomes possible. I think there are some points, yeah, that I that I'd like to come up with here. Yeah, I like to share uh, with you uh, that. Um, 
we got a uh, we, we we uh, along uh, during our conversation during our conversation with someone we we need to to find a way to be clear in our conversation yeah uh, for example yeah. you have Definitely. many words you have Definitely. many yeah you have many words you wanted to use but you try to use the more try to be the more clear you can i mean yeah and uh, it becomes easier to have uh, communication so other other people can understand you uh, um, yeah. easier. Yeah. So uh, I, I think uh, we need to make an effort to don't be misunderstood. Yeah. Yes. Is the, is the struggle, yeah, is the struggle uh, I, I advise my students, yeah. And uh, when they say, teacher, I cannot use, for example, uh, this phrase, I, I, would, I would say, for example, I would say, I didn't mean, I didn't know, teacher, when I say no, uh, you may use other thing uh, that is similar, uh, other word. Uh, yeah, we say in English, few words, yeah, a few words that you can replace with something that is not uh, different at all. Yeah. Yes, you but have a great uh, synonymous vocabulary. Want, yeah, yeah, you want, you, you, you yeah, it's, it's, a, uh, it's something I want to share uh, here, this live. Yeah, guys, so you are watching this live. If you have, for example, you are talking to someone and you're stuck in the middle, for example, it happens often. You're stuck in the middle and you are looking for the word you want to use and you are not, perhaps you are not looking, uh, you are not finding uh, uh, the concept grammarly of this word you want to say. And then you, you may use something like, uh, for example, uh, I didn't know it, for example, uh, I was not expecting uh, something that is uh, not different from that you want to bring, for example, the, the main idea you wanted to say. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think this, this point, oh, sorry. This point is really important. I think that uh, to be understood, sometimes I really focus, and my students here know uh, they are here, but they know I focus a lot on pronunciation. But why? I'm talking about pronunciation because, um, and some people, some teachers says, okay, keep your accent. It's not a problem. I, I know that, and I try to do that, but I remember I wouldn't like to sound like a Bayona talking in English, right? So I re really uh, like uh, to listen to native teachers and speakers talking. And I do exactly as they do. Or I actually, I try to do exactly as they pronounce words. Mm -hmm. Because uh, yeah. if you mispronounce a word, you cannot be understood. Like, I remember I had an event with a teacher from the UK. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. But this teacher uh, from the UK told me, Tachi, the students were talking like each, each, and she was not understanding what uh, this student me, uh, wanted to say. And, and I said, no, it's the word to eat, eat, and not eat, mm -hmm. like eat, but with I, yeah. yes. So yeah. when, you, you, when you are accent, uh, when you have, yeah. yes, you mispronounce yeah. words, yes. Yeah. So you cannot be yeah. understood. So it depends. Sometimes I don't correct because it's just my accent. It's my way of speaking. But when uh, things like, oh, I have, the verb have, I usually say have finishes with letter V, have. But here in Bahia, uh, in Bahia, no, in, I don't know. I think every, uh, all over Brazil, all these students have the same, the same problem in Portuguese, right? And they bring it to English, like putting the vowel in the end of the words or uh, mm -hmm. uh, changing letter E uh, with the sound of letter yeah. I, right? So it's not heavy yeah. because if you say heavy, there is another meaning. So I say, oh my God, you're changing the meaning. I was not understanding. So let's correct this. But your accent is your it identity. It's completely the meaning. Yeah, it uh, seems like other word you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, and I said, yeah, oh, it's, it, this is not good if you teacher, talk and people don't understand you. Yeah, this teacher is from Bahia, my city, Jo, jo you Oh, so. hello. you live here too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, guys, feel free here, okay, to ask something. If you want to make questions okay, we about are how to improve, right, communication, you, communication. In yeah, English. yeah, we are talking about communication, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so. I think uh, there are many uh, uh, many situations 
people always ask me, teacher, how can I start the conversation, for example, uh, I think it's a part of having a good conversation, a good communication. We are talking about it. Then uh, I, I, yeah, I thought, why not come with this, uh, with this question? Yeah. Uh, yes. They asked me, teacher, how can, I, how can I have a good conversation without stopping, without being blocked in my mind? Yeah, and that right moment, I, I want to say something, but I, I have many things to say, but I... I feel frozen, yeah, and um, uh, I strongly recommend, uh, I have an advice here for all of you guys, yeah, and I want to share it with you, too, teacher. Uh, yeah, there are, there, there are many words that we may use along the conversation when you are forgetting something, they act like, uh, uh, as I say, a few words, but they help us. For example, you may say, uh actually you may say uh you know uh, you may say um uh you may say th things like that you may say oh, um yeah uh things like that yeah for you don't be frozen don't be stuck at, in the middle uh it helps you to think an other word you want to think uh, to create something like a link yeah <laughs> Yeah. I think of that. Okay, uh, so said something really, really important. Yes, yeah. you can have your accent. If you are, understand. I don't know if people can understand you and you can, if communication happens, right? Yeah. If communication doesn't happen, uh, it's not just a matter of accent. It's mispronounced words. Uh, the, the mispronounced words can, um, I don't know, not only this can stop communication, I think. I think the lack of knowledge of some culture, I cannot understand a joke or some American programs, I watch them and I say, oh my God, I understood everything they said, but it doesn't make sense to me. So communication is not happening, not just um, yeah. making words flow. And that's it. I think uh, it's my identity, but I like, um, I remember a story of my family. My mom went to London and she said, oh, I'm so hungry. I need to buy some snake. And I said, snake, no snack. Not a snake, a snack. You want a sandwich or some chips or I don't know, whatever. But you need to focus on really uh, do not mispronounce words, right? Because maybe you can, uh, I don't know, I think it's it can go, oh, I don't know. It's not only communication uh, doesn't happen. But the problem, yeah. I think, is, I don't know, uh, embarrassment, right? You can feel embarrassed because of something or shy or you, I don't know, it's not polite. So you need to understand the whole culture. Mm -hmm. You need to pronounce correctly words. And you said, uh, what is important, as you said, I stop or I cannot think in English. I understand that thinking in English is really um it's not easy because I have a reference and my reference is Portuguese. Portuguese is my reference. So when I say like, yeah. oh, the house of my mother, and I don't use the structure, my mother's house, my mother's house, uh, it's a, I need to change the way I make sentences, right? But so it's it's very hard. I understand it's very difficult for me. The way you think in Portuguese. Yes, yeah. I'm thinking. For example, some beginners, they say, I like uh, pizza. And I said, no, in English, you just like something. Yeah. There's yeah. no one. Uh, yeah. But in Portuguese, so they are translating, yeah. right? And, and you have yeah, a question that is very intense. Yeah. Let me remember, <laughs> teacher Tati. Yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. You made me remember uh, something this, uh, this last, last week. Yeah, that happened with some student of mine. Say, uh, feel me this phrase. Uh, 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 for example, who professor this? Ah, the teacher said that. No, no, no. Yeah, it's uh, something related with uh, how you think in Portuguese. You want to, yeah, you want to put in English. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, we are using a person or something like that. We don't use the article, the, yeah, in, in this, this case. Yeah, and summing, summing up, uh, teacher Tati, do you uh, have some uh, some tips? You consider the essential tips to have a good communication? Okay, uh, I, I, I yes, I have. I just want to answer that, Francis. Uh, something that we just asked here, she's, she's a teacher too, but she yeah. said you, you, what, thought, you thought thing, you thought something here about the, sorry for interrupting you. You thought something here about me not being misunderstood. 
you told yeah you, you talked about uh, i think uh, two points already or something like that yeah she said because well, let me just explain this uh tv global for example is a very famous channel and the other channels and the soap opera is usually in the past used to show like some uh, soap operas with, um, uh, I don't know, a stereotype of b people from Bahia talking in English, like, um, I don't know, I cannot uh, pretend like this, but uh, it's something like this. They were, they created this. I remember I was talking about this with a teacher and uh, we were talking, okay, there's a difference between accent, pronunciation, uh, and uh, what happens. For example, my accent. When I talk Portuguese, I usually make my, um, I don't know, in the end of the sentence, eu vou falando português, eu vou enfatizando um pouco mais do final das frases. Então, a minha frase uh -huh. no final, ela fica longa. This is the rhythm, right? So, this is the rhythm. Yeah. In English, I need, to, if I work intonation, my accent will not disturb me. So, that's why English books usually have something like intonation practice, something like this. Some books I've seen before. Yeah. And you have questions. Are, uh, is she late? No, she's not late. No, she's not late. No, she's not late. So uh, the books are trying to all work on intonation. If I work on my uh, practice, my intonation in, in English, it's a question. I need to have the question intonation. If I do that, my accent is, won't be a problem, right? Won't, it won't be a problem. Yeah. But the uh, vowels, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a little a bit related with uh, regions. Yeah, uh, accent spoken, for example, in um, in a little city, for example, they they talk a different way, and yeah, we need to understand. We need to make an effort to understand that at the point. Yes, for example, I understand. You, uh, even, even, even in the U.S., even in the U.S., you find uh, uh, cities, uh, many cities, different accents. Yeah, and intonation is different. You talk, uh, uh, you talk, uh, you talk a little about uh, uh, the intonation. Yes, yeah. but I, the it, rhythm. Yes, yeah. I do understand the question you made me. Like, okay, if I use. Uh, okay, uh, is it better to memorize words or, or I don't know, sense, something like this? And it, it's always the same. Um, for example, in Portuguese, I say, de onde você? So, de onde você? De onde você? Esse é, ele yeah. é cumprido. But in English, where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah. Where are you from? The, I, I, if I change intonation, no problem accent anymore. The rhythm, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. like the rhythm, the stress. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, I've asked about the essential tips uh, uh, to have a good communication, but I think you, <laughs> yeah, but I think you were spreading, yeah, long conversation yes, right now. Said. Yeah, uh, yeah, there are some tips that uh, that I would like to to share with you guys here. Yeah, when you're having a conversation. Uh, when you, uh, something like, a, you need to create uh, something like a back questions, okay? You need to be aware uh, that you, you and some, some uh, anytime you, you, you need to uh, make a back question, for example, to ask, for example, what do you think about that? Uh, and you, and how about you? And uh, make something, uh, reply to make this, or, okay, yeah, replying, yeah, you, the, uh, the point that the, way, the, the conversation, not seems like uh, stuck at, or you don't have nothing to say, okay? Because many students, of I, they, they ask often, uh, teacher, uh, I have many things to say before a conversation, but when I'm mean, when I'm inside the conversation, I cannot hold that. I cannot uh, find a way sometimes. to, I need to Continue. figure out a way to, yeah, to have a, a comfortable communication, to have a good communication, yeah. But I know many things that I have to say. Yeah, and then that's my advice. Yeah, making the back questions. Yeah, something like that. You ask, and how about you? What do you think about it? Yeah, something like that, just to, to create. <laughs> yes, to create. Yeah. And, and yeah. you, Francis, as a teacher, me and the teachers can actually work with this, like fair work. 
usually, oh, make a question, and they should say, oh, do you, no, 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 and they say, yes, I do. Why, yes, I do. Make another question. Yes, yeah, send it, uh, I don't yeah, know. I, yes, what I do. about you? <laughs> what do you like? What do you do? What do you, yeah. so you need to reply. You put it too, and yeah, you have to reply just to, yeah, to get along, yeah. A conversation, and, uh, exactly. You, yeah, yeah, when, 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 uh, uh, so guys, when you do that, you you are creating uh, you are creating a situation for you to go further. Okay, so when you get stuck at uh, something like uh, yeah, for example, this uh, what what you uh, end up saying right now? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, did you go to school? Uh, for example, did, uh, do you work that? Do you work on that? Yes, I do. And and yes, I do. I like that. And what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> yes. Like that. Yeah. I, I remember, uh, for instance, about this. Uh, some students said, "Oh, I've been abroad, Tachi. I, I, I knew how to make the question to ask for information, but they answered, and I could couldn't understand." said you know why because you just uh, when you were studying, you were focused on how to make a question. So I remember when I was yeah. a student, I was. Oh, uh, how do I get to the uh, mall? How do I get to that place? And uh, I was trying to give, uh, to answer, uh, to create some answers. Oh, turn right, turn left. I remember I was 13 years old. And then when they say, oh, oh go straight, go down the street and do this or that, or take the elevator, do something. So you understand because you have practiced. You only can recognize what you, uh, what you, want, what you do. If I don't try to speak, I cannot understand. I can make the question, but I cannot understand. So talk to yourself like it, uh, sometimes is really good. You, you, you practice the question, the answer, how to make questions. So I think this is the point. You, 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 if someone makes you a question, you answer. But if you think about making a question, do not just make the question. Try to think about uh, different answers for that question, for example. It helps a lot. Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, that means that I create a whole conversation in my mind, but when I'm going to speak, I freeze. Yeah, yeah, that's it what I end up saying right now, yeah. And okay. We get here. Yeah, now it's clearly. Do you yeah, know? Okay. Okay. Tommy, you are creating in your mind. You need to speak to yourself and listen to yourself. It's really important. You listen to your... Uh, oh, I'm speaking this way. Oh, let me correct this. Oh, let me do a different intonation. So I think that students are creating in their mind. Uh, I talk to myself when I'm driving, when I'm cooking, when I, I talk to myself yeah, in English, yeah. Italian. Talk I do to that. yourself, yeah. It, it may, may seem like insane, maybe crazy or something like that, but you need to do that. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> even, when you, even when you're sleeping. Even when you're sleeping, you talk to yourself in English. Yeah. My son comes, Mom, are you talking to yourself? Yes, I am. I'm talking yeah. to myself. Yeah, this yeah, helps yeah. a lot. Okay, uh, that, there's something I, I, I truly believe uh, so far that uh, isn't uh, difficult even for English learners. They struggle to learn many new words and yeah, they are uh, they are often trying to to achieve it. Uh, uh, this, this goal, yeah, they have a goal. I want to learn. For example, I I recommend that students you need to have a goal, uh, learning new words uh, every every single day, and uh, try to make something with this word, creating a phrase with this word. And I'd like to know what about you? What do you think about it? And words uh, or sentences? What do you think about is uh, is really important to have a conversation for, because uh, as we already know to have a good conversation you need, you need to you need to you need to know many words of course yeah yes. you need to learn words and uh, yeah what is what is it uh, related with phrases what do you think about it is it really necessary phrases uh, if I'm what if I forgot the phrase for example I created in my mind something like that yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, for example, there are some students uh, focused on learning vocabulary. That's nice. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. understand, yeah. like, oh, I have some fruit vocabulary or cutlery or, I don't know, things that I use in my work. 
in my house or so I can get these words. But what I need to remember is that I need to have some structure uh, on my mind. I need to remember the structure. And sometimes you say, I want to talk about you. Uh, so the words that I want to flow, um, I don't know how I would like to do. So I understand that a word has a word, uh, has a, a pronunciation alone. But if you put this word in a sentence, you have a reference, you have your accent, you are your, who you are. So uh, I, I'm going to stop when I yeah. speak. I'm going to have not the, it's not my accent. It's mispronunci mispronunciation. So mispronounced words. So what can I do? Learn some rules, like some tips. What, uh, what kind of English am I teaching? American, British? I usually work with standard English because I can go, uh, travel everywhere. I can go through a job interview. So it's standard English. But my students know I usually focus on American English. But why American? Mm -hmm. Do I love United States? Definitely no. I don't love United States. By the way, last year I went to London. So, uh, Don't jump. Yes, I went to London just because I love Europe. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay. And I said, oh, what, what I do, uh, uh, what I'm talking, what I, what I mean about American English, because American English yeah. has a lot of contractions, reductions. They squeeze well, words, yeah. sentences, everything is, is, is together. So I teach them how to do that. For example, three tips I consider really, really, really important. When a letter T becomes, uh, when a word finishes in a consonant, for example, a consonant, and the other word begins in a vowel sound, I need to read together. Uh, for example, she eats, I have this S because it's third person singular. She eats a, yeah. eats a, eats a, eats a. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teacher, not I'm a teacher. Oh, I don't know the other mm -hmm. way they pronounce. So I'm a. So I need to say consonant, vowel, together. But teacher, if the word uh, is a letter T, letter T is the flat T sometimes, yeah. like flight attendant, kind of a nosso R, mas não é um R tão vibrante como o do português, parecido. Mas dá para acontecer. Flight, a, flight a. for the American, it's usually a letter D, but we're Brazilian, we have the Brazilian alphabet. So it's better if I compare to letter uh, R. So I think this, and I've seen results in my students. So I say, oh, uh, I don't. Uh, they say, I don't. It's not a mistake. It's correct. It's so British. It's beautiful. But Americans, oh, I don't like that. And the students can't understand that. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. Because it sounds like Brazilian R. And they say, oh, the Americans usually say letter D. <laughs> but for us, it's mm -hmm. letter uh, similar to our R. Right, so they do that, and they improved a lot uh, when they're speaking, like uh, connected speech, like connecting words. It's like next week, next uh, uh, I don't know something. Last, okay, I had a student who said, yeah. "My last name is Souza. My last name is Souza." You mm. see, letter I in the end, and I said, "Why are you saying last year?" And she said. Oh, there's a letter T. I said letter T is, is a consonant, not a vowel. There's no letter I. And she tried many times, very hard. Okay, Tachi. My last name is, and she couldn't avoid this letter, this T, T. And I say, okay, so drop letter T. Drop it. My last name. My last name. No letter T. Why this letter T? So you can practice yeah. linking this and practicing so it becomes easier. Right? Uh, when you communicate, do not stop and have so many pauses all the time. I think it helps a lot. You told something very important here. The big difficult many uh, Portuguese speakers, they have learning English. For example, they say, I, uh, I, me, or, or they say, I, me, I, me, or they say, I, me, uh, yes. I, yeah, yeah. They, they, they often say, I, me, I, me, yeah, and then, uh, and then I, uh, I've been given a tip for that, yeah, to help with it. <laughs> yeah, just say I am or say um, um, yeah, or say um, yeah. Or, and I, I make am. them connect yeah, to the next word, but it works too. Yeah. So it ways to, to, yeah, they can do that. So I think this is the point. I, have you heard about, uh, probably you, you, you did, uh, Uglish. 
uh, teacher Polish uh, sent to me, Youglish. You put the word youglish.com and you, you look for the word and uh, American or British, uh, uh, Australian English, and then yeah. uh, find yeah. the sentence and say, oh my God, it's so different. So they're speaking a lot different from me. So what, what should I do to sound uh, like this uh, or to not stop so, so many times in the middle of the sentence? So I think it's uh, if you learn some uh, words, some uh, connected in, or how to connect words, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I also love British accents yeah, as well. Uh, here, I think we have here Mari, Miss Marinelza. Uh, hey, Marinelza, say hi if you are there. I think I saw you, uh, you arrived a little ago. Yeah, she's a lady of my English WhatsApp group. And uh, she, oh. yeah, she has a, a lovely uh, British accent. You don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for example, they say better. Yeah, uh, I, uh, today I think it's better. Yeah, they just say better. Yeah, uh, British accent, they used to, to uh, yeah, American accent, they, they change R instead of T. Better, yeah, water, uh, yeah, things like that. Yes. Yeah. But I love but usually, also, if you, yeah, bridge yeah. Action. And if you realize it's just letter T or D in the end of the sentence when it's before a vowel. So, oh my God, what should I do when I have, like, uh, they have this. But what is a little bit good for Brazilians to learn a little bit of American is that if you understand American English, you can understand everybody. British becomes a lot easier, like when they say water. I understand. I don't. Easier, I, yeah. I want to, yeah, it, yeah. it's easier because it's close to how the way how the uh, it's close to the spelling, it so we easier. can understand better. For example, my mom studied four years of British English. Uh, our house, uh, we used to be to rent our house to Pan American School here in Bahia, and when the phone oh. uh, ran, uh, used to ring. Uh, and she knew it was someone from Pan, Pan American. So she said, please come here. The phone's ringing. Then you want to talk about the home. Can you, can you answer the phone and said, mom, you speak English. You have, uh, I don't know, you speak English so well. But Americans, I can't understand. So it was uh, something like this. And I said, you should try to practice a little bit. You can understand everybody. If you understand some from someone from New York. You can understand everybody. Mom also speak English a long time ago or is re recently? Okay, was she, she was studying uh, many years ago, many years ago. And she went, she traveled, she liked uh, to, to travel a lot and she said, oh, I'm going to travel. But then, um, I don't know, five years ago, uh, since five years ago, she decided she stopped studying English and started studying Spanish. But it was because of professional reasons. So she said, I have to do that. But I think I told her, you need to practice. If you don't practice, if you don't study, imagine, Francis, you have a student. And uh, your student says, Francis, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop this year because I'm studying a lot in the university or I'm working so much and I need to stop. But next year, I'm going to call you and I'm going to go back. Uh, we understand yeah. because there is something important. But when you stop, you're not just stopping. You're going back. Because you're gonna forget everything you learned. Exactly. You're not practicing. Yeah. yeah, I was talking with my student of mine this this week. Yeah, he was passing through some problems. Yeah. Yes. And then yeah, we are we are having a conversation. Yeah, and then I've asked him, "Do you want to stop?" Um, yeah, I told you, uh, if you want to start right now, you need to consider mm -hmm. that you, uh, need to, you, you need to start from scratch uh, when you decide to return. Yeah, you're starting from zero. Because I have many students, many, many people, they say, teacher, uh, I had a good uh, English. I, had, I was almost having a good conversation, but I stopped it. Yeah, because many things passed through my life, uh, had many struggles. Now I'm back again, and I feel that I don't know anything anymore. And yeah, it's... I prefer to, yes, yeah, to go back to the it, beginning. I, yeah. This is, yes, when you stop, yeah, you never yeah, stop. Yeah. You just go back. You, you go back to the, uh, yes, yeah. to, to the beginning, uh, beginner level. Yeah. But because you forget, I think uh, all, all of this uh, language, for example, I never took a course to learn Italian. 
But I decided to learn Italian by myself because I was working uh, at the airport and I said, oh, it's really important. I'm going to focus on this. And I said, oh, let me do this. And I, I made the same class plan, the same topics I used to teach English to learn um, uh, Italian. And I said, oh, let me do this. And it worked. I think that if you want to, if you really want to learn and you have, because there's a difference Francis, uh, between learn to become fluent, learn because uh, you have the obligation or your mom told you or I don't know. Um, yeah. You just want. And there's a difference between I want and I, uh, I really uh, take a decision. I'm not going back in this decision. So I need to have at least yeah. a specific time to study. I, many students uh, here from Brazil uh, will tell you probably, oh, I want to be fluent. I want to be fluent, but I don't. Uh, you send the activity, they don't answer. Or they're not listening mm -hmm. to music. They're not, yeah. when they watch Great music, time. So, <laughs> there's a big difference between I want and I'm going to do what is necessary and just I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so crazy. You see, the person saying, oh, I want to be fluent this year. I want you to some activity. Oh, man, it, uh, sorry, it's crazy. I can't understand it until now. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Teacher, do you think uh, it's is it really necessary to have a goal in English, or it helps you at the point that you you feel more uh, something like uh, well, I have this goal, I I need to achieve it. Uh, for example, uh, I say many many students of mine uh, that having a goal is uh, really important for. Uh, for your process, for your English process as well. Yeah. Do you think because like uh, you mean like in the language or to keep studying, like to keep learning or to uh, start learning? I mean, yeah, I mean uh, in uh, English pro in uh, learning process. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, focus it on something. I think it helps you so much to achieve. Yeah, and to to say, wow, I'm here because I yeah I. I intend to be here and I'm here and yeah, focus it on something. Uh, do you think it's really necessary or doesn't need so much? Okay, I think uh, that if, if the student, uh, if he or she has a goal, uh, I don't know, something to achieve, uh, I don't know, living abroad or yeah, I don't know, uh, becoming fluent just to understand music or movies or something, it makes the student learn faster. Usually, if you don't have um, a, a goal, if this student will spend one month with me, then he stops, go to you, study two months with Francis, and then stop and go look for uh, an English course, uh, an English school, yeah. spend like two semesters, and never is going to become fluent. I need to have a goal, but I think there's a, 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 like, uh, there's a gap between I want and I want, and I'm going to do what is necessary to become fluent. I'm going to do what's really necessary. Yeah. But we need to be humble sometimes and say, oh, I learned this way. I spent many years saying this word like this, but I know it's not this way. So I need to go back. I need to understand how it works. So you need to be humble because some, sometimes we, we think we know everything, like teachers, students. Oh, I had a student from the airport. Do you know what he told me? Oh, Pachi, you asked me to make a video talking in English to correct my speech, uh, introducing myself. And I asked him to do this. Because I, I understand that in the airport, uh, for the, 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 yeah. the part of the company he wants to work, uh, he's going to go through an inter interview like this. They're going to tell you, well, I'm going to give you five minutes, two minutes to introduce yourself and say, why do you want to work in this company? I know he's going to have yeah. it, and there it's under pressure. So maybe he can st stop or not continue or freeze. I don't know. And I said, let's practice now. Make a video. Send to me. I'm going to correct it. And he said, okay. Uh, then after four days, he told me, Pachi, I didn't record. I do not learn this way. I'm going to teach you how to teach me. <laughs> and I said, really? <laughs> I spent 23 years, I don't know everything, and you know everything. So you can be a polyglot, you can talk the language you want. Why don't you, why are you studying English and not Mandarin Chinese? 
You can learn Mandarin by yourself if you know how to teach you, right? Uh, the way you are doing has, I don't know, the way you are doing, I don't know, haven't worked for many years, haven't been working for many years. Why is it going to work now? So I know what, what is good for you. I know what will make your, your, uh, your, uh, your way easier. Uh, to speak English because uh, you, for instance, like me, like all the teachers, we develop techniques by teaching. And I said, oh, I taught this yeah. this way and he didn't understand. Let me try this. Let me try. And you know by yeah, trying. And yeah, and sometimes uh, we, have, we, we need to, to, to know our students, each one of them, and use different methods for each one of them. For example, there are more visual persons, auditive, uh, there are more, yeah, and then... Do you work with yeah, music yeah, think, sometimes think, or no? Like yeah. to, to tell them a yeah, song? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Yes, for example, you choose a song for their level and they're trying to look, uh, to listen to Eminem, for example, you know? So it's not for his yeah, level, but it's like, like, oh, you love him. I know yeah, that then we have some uh, stamps. You need to go from the scratch and go. It's a process. It's not like, yeah. oh... Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be speaking English. No, but it can be faster if you follow the steps, right? If you follow like uh, the steps you tell them to do, your students might and everybody will learn, which change, uh, move to, to another level. Yeah. Okay, uh, guys, so we are ending, we are almost ending because we have just an hour because we need to save this, this oh, life, you yes. can save it. But oh Instagram, God, so Instagram doesn't permit you if you pass if you pass an hour, yeah, you can you cannot save the life. And then I think we are almost time. Yeah, teacher, just to say goodbye. Um, I really have to thank you so much. Yeah, oh, I have to thank you me. so much. Okay, this time. And I hope yeah. so we can have this time. Yeah, more and more. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, yes, thank. Uh, I'd like to thank you for inviting me and uh, the students too. I think uh, the students who are here, it doesn't matter if it's just one or two or ten. I think uh, if we change one life, for me, it's really enough. And for example, uh, it's Friday night. We know everybody uh, is drinking, is going out or going to meet their families. And I think the students are here are just interested in learning, right? In improving their communication. So I really would like to thank you and everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you a lot. Yeah. And have a nice weekend. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye, you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Tommy. Bye-bye. Uh, thank you. Bye. Teacher, see you. Thank you once again. Thank All you. Right. Have Bye. a good night there. Right. You too. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. You too, yeah. me too. I love the luck. <laughs>